Hey guys, it's me again, and today I thought I'd show you something I was working on the other day. It's, um, a display. Now, if you remember a while back, I made a, uh, five-letter display that was pretty simple, I might say. Um, I wanted to go back to it, you know, and redo it so that it was better. So, this one is all in all more compact, has, in a way, more features, and has ten letters instead of five. So, first we have the big, big uh, orange screen here. Second, we have my little control panel behind me. The inputs are in binary. And um, instead of using a multiplexer, I used a binary to decimal decoder. And so, let's see here. If I wanted to... Whoa, it's lagging when I start in the lag once I record. But, um, so first off, I'm going to put type in, hey guys, maybe, or something. So first we're going to put an H, I guess, which is the eighth letter, so one, two, four, eight. And then we hit the little input button, which is like an enter key almost, and it will appear on the far right side. And there's the H. Now, um, basically what's uh, saving this are some D flip-flops. So if I try and enter the next letter, which would be, instead of hey guys, I'm going to put hi guys. So I'm going to put an I in, which is nine. So then I hit the input button, and it'll, uh, I was going to say scooch or slouch or something, but it'll scooch the H over and then put in the I. Now, it's doing this by, it's got a D, D flip-flops saving the binary input into the back of the ROM cells. And so once I clock it using this input here, it uh, sends um, an input to the D flip-flops at the back, and makes it so that the D flip flops send their input, their what their input is at the moment, into the next one, and then takes the in output from the other one. Okay, it takes their output into the next input, and then output into input, which basically makes a shift register, so that they shift to the left. So now, if I wanted to put a space, I would take off all the letters and just put a blank um, thing in. So basically, it would shift what we have here and put nothing on the next 4D flip-flops, or 5, I should say. So now there's a space. Uh, G is 7, I think. So then the G will pop up here, but everything will also be shifted over, so the space will still be there. U. I definitely don't know U. Um, hmm... Twenty-one, isn't it? So that would be four, sixteen, and one, which would be a U, or should be. Yay! And um, Y would be um, twenty-five, since it's right out before Z. So. 25 with these characters, so that, that, and 1. That's 16, 8, which is 24, plus 1 equals 25. U is 21, so S would be 19. Which would be 16 and 3, so we're going to oh, keep that one down. Got to flip those two down, and that would be an S. But you can also add other characters in, so not just letters. I didn't add numbers. I was going to, but I didn't. So um, let's see here. One of the letters I added was, I believe, I mean characters. I added a period, an exclamation mark, and a question mark. And so they would just end up after the letters. So 27 would be period, and 28 would be the other one. So let's go. That should be it, because 24 and then... 28 would be an exclamation mark. Alright, so that should be an exclamation mark. I'm not absolutely sure. It could be blank for all I know. Oh yeah, exclamation mark. And I'm lagging? There we go. So, let's take a look at the wiring here. We've got um, these input lines from my little control panel here. And then behind each of these displays, 
is a nice compact ROM. This ROM design I saw from uh, Redstone Warrior, and I thought it was a really nice design for a ROM. A, uh, another thing, at the back here we've got some D flip flops. These ones, um, I'm not sure how to put it, just these are shift registers that move the five binary inputs over to the next set of D flip flops, the next five. And that is done from these wires, and then it just cl I clock it from the other end, and it just moves them all along. And then underneath the ROM, we have a piston um, binary to decimal decoder, and this is what allows me to pick any number between one and thirty-one um, with only five levers. So yeah. That's basically one of the things I was working on. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I will see you guys later.